Okay, let's do a little mental exercise. You're marketing projects for a company or even your own company. It's Tuesday and you have the pressure of having to complete your biggest client's project by this Friday. You promise them, but you don't really know who in your team will be able to take the lead and get that done. Everybody in the team seems busy. You turn to Slack. Okay, let's ask everyone, who is available? Crickets. So then you go and you engage with every team member individually to see, okay, what are you doing? So then you can assess the priority and see who can get this project done by Friday. And this task increases as your team size does. But what if I told you that it is easier than it seems to have this fixed, to actually see what everybody is doing in your company or in your team, and that in less than five seconds, you will be able to say, hey, it's Daniel who needs to take this project done by Friday. But not only we can fix these kind of situations very easily, we will also be able to prevent them by planning better in advance so we don't have to ever reach this point. So this is what this video is going to be about. Let me show you. So the objective here is to make it easy for us as managers to see what everybody is working on. If you already have a way to manage the tasks of your team, then this may be even easier for you. You may have all the ingredients, but just don't know how to combine them to get you this information. But if not, if you are starting from scratch, don't worry, I'm gonna show you everything. So for fixing this problem, I'm using a tool called Notion. And we are gonna be fixing this by using Notion's databases. So first, let me show you which databases we are going to be needing. By the way, for this example, I'm using Remote OS, which is a, my Notion template that is meant to be used for, for these kind of companies, for remote companies. But yeah, let me show you the databases that we're gonna be needing, which are very, very simple. So first of all, we're gonna be needing an HR database. This database is going to host the people that work within the company. And if you are a little bit familiar with Notion, you may ask, okay, Daniel, why are you overcomplicating this and using a database for this when we can use just a person property everywhere else? So for example, we will be able to assign a task just using a person property. Wrong. I would not uh, advise you to do that. Why? Using a database, it is the only way that I'm gonna have to have a full view of everything that a particular person is working on, the meetings, project, tasks, uh, the companies that he is managing, the salary, like everything. This will not be possible just using a, the person property. Plus, we can very easily create a personal dashboard for everyone uh, by linking to the, the page of the particular person. So if I am to create, I don't know, let's say that I, I hire a new, a new person. So I can make this template default and let's say that this is the new person and that is it. This will be Daniel's dashboard. So he will be able to have all the tasks, projects, meeting, contacts, everything in here. So this is another thing that, again, would not be possible just by using the person property. Then what else do we need? A projects and a tasks database. By the way, these two are going to be linked together by using a relational property. So we will have the projects over here that are linked to the tasks over here. Okay, so this basic project management structure, I'm not uncovering anything new here, okay? But what is important is that this database is also linked to uh, that HR database that I told you about. So this is to tell who is the manager or of this project. And the same happens with the tasks. If we go to the tasks, again, I'm not discovering anything, anything new here. It's a basic tasks database that is linked to a particular project and that also has an asigny property that links to this HR. So as you can see, these three databases are connected among them. And that is it. <laughs> this is all the infrastructure that we need, all the databases and the properties. As simple as that. I didn't mention that we need a due date, but this is a, this is self-explanatory. A task manager cannot be without a, a due date property. And, and that is it. Now, since we have all the ingredients, but we don't know how to make the paella yet. So we just have all the rice and all this stuff, but yes, we need to cook it. And this is what we are gonna do. So here in the dashboard, I have this task manager page. So 
let's go back to the example. Let's say that we have to get a, a particular project finished by Friday and I'm looking for someone to take on this, this project. So I will go to the task manager and in here I'm going to have a list of all the tasks that have no one assigned to, to them. So let's say that is the this project three, the remote OS launch, and there is no assignee. So we are trying to find someone who can take this and, and finish it by, by this week. So I will come over here to this timeline view and I will see who is working on what. So I don't need to slack anyone everything is in here. Of course, if this was a real example, so probably this will already be completed, so will not be here because this was for Monday, um, but you get the idea, right? You can see what everybody is working on. So I will be able to see that if the marketing guy uh, is able to do this project, she seems like the most free right because this guy is doing the facebook ads and some automations and this is the boss so probably the boss is not really gonna do the the project so this tells me that she's just thinking of 10 creative facebook ads so probably this is gonna be the the girl who is going to do it so i will just uh, go here assign it to the marketing gal and now if i want to schedule it i have this view over here and i will be able to simply drag it to friday and that is it so she will receive a, a notification like so. Let's say that this is the marketing gal and that is it. Okay, so with this, we have fixed the problem of, okay, I'm impressed with this project. This needs to get done at this date. So let's find who can get this done. But um, I'm a big proponent of letting people schedule their own tasks and then the project manager will kind of oversee that everything is going all right. So how, how do we make it easy for everybody to schedule their own tasks. So as I showed before, every person has its own personal dashboard and they will be able to come here. So let's say that I'm the marketing gal and everybody has this planning view, which is basically two linked databases in, in calendar view and in table view. Here are the all, all the unscheduled tasks. So this person will be able to uh, schedule things just by, by dragging them uh, over here okay but what if the problem is the projects themselves that we don't know if we are scheduling too many projects at the same time well so we can zoom out a little bit and instead of focusing on the tasks we will be able to focus on the projects and here we will be able to see who is working on what and yes and how how pressed people is with the projects that they have scheduled as you may have seen, this is a very tiny part of this whole system that is all built in Notion that contains a system to track uh, KPIs within the company, to track all the sales. We have a full sales workflow over here. We have financial dashboards where we can see all the money movements within the company. We have even a, a P&L report, profit and loss report. We have a way to track products and services, how much income we are getting from each product, for the revenue, all the transactions. And my favorite part, we have this automation builder, which is almost like a full online course on how to create automations for this particular system, how to add the credit card expenses using one tool, uh, sending clients invoices automatically. So there is so many automations in here that I believe that gives these templates like real, real superpowers. So if you want to get the system, I'm going to leave it in the description of this video. So that is it for today, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.